Okay, so on this road trip of Knoxville, we're gonna bounce around a little bit instead of just doing a normal city tour in one continuous drive like we always do. Right now, we're just outside of campus at the University of Tennessee, which begins just outside of the downtown area. We're on Cumberland Avenue, headed east towards downtown Knoxville. It's Sunday, November 10th, 2019 at 10.30 a.m. Now, right now we're on the very southern edge of downtown. This is the Tennessee River, where there's a handful of restaurants and housing developments. The Tennessee River actually begins here in Knoxville. Its headwaters are formed due to the confluence of the French Broad and Holston Rivers. Now, right now we're at Gay Street, which is the main drag here in Knoxville. Along Gay Street are hotels, arts venues, shopping, and a ton of restaurants and bars. Knoxville's population is 170,000. There's a lot of history here. Arguably the nation's first electric streetcar ran right in the middle of the street way back in 1890. Mountain Dew had its beginnings in Knoxville. The channel HGTV is based here too. Country singer Kenny Chesney grew up here and director Quentin Tarantino was born here.
Here on the left is Knoxville's Market Square, which has a number of restaurants and some shopping. This is where Knoxville has its farmer's markets, musical acts, and the city puts in a temporary ice skating rink in the wintertime. Now we're heading east again, back towards Gay Street.
On the north end of Knoxville is the more rundown section called Old City. This is the sketchiest part of downtown Knoxville, home to the city's main bus stop, train station, and homeless shelter. There's a decent number of shops, restaurants, and bars here, and this is where people go clubbing, typically starting at about 10 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. Crime-wise, it's not pretty. Knoxville's been called one of the 50 least livable cities because while the downtown area might be charming and very safe, the outskirts are very poor and dangerous. Crime in Knoxville is 131% higher than other cities of its size. One in four people in Knoxville lives in poverty, almost double the national average. Now for perspective, we'll show you how quickly things change just a block or two east of downtown. The city of Knoxville has been working hard to gentrify and improve much of the greater Knoxville area by rebuilding older rundown homes in this part of town and building newer homes in their place. It's a process that's ongoing here in Knoxville and one we talked about a little more extensively in another video we did on the worst areas of Knoxville, where we drove through East Knoxville. The link to that video is in the description. Now for a little perspective on downtown, we're going to jump to a clip on the south side of downtown from where we'll drive over the Tennessee River on the Gay Street Bridge. Now another particular area we covered was a section of the University of Tennessee, which is only two miles from downtown proper. Now this is what the locals call the Strip, and it's a series of restaurants and bars where the college kids hang out. During football and basketball games, it can be quite busy here.
Leaving the Strip, we head into campus proper. We're going to show you a couple landmarks on campus where the basketball team plays their home games and where the campus's football stadium is. The University of Tennessee has about 28,000 students, which puts it just inside the top 50 in terms of largest student enrollment. Here on the left is the massive Thompson Bowling Arena, where the men's and women's basketball teams play. Now the street we're on is called Philip Fulmer Way. It was named after the longtime football coach, Philip Fulmer. Now the football stadium here in the middle of campus is called Nayland Stadium. It's absolutely massive and holds 102,000 people. It's so large, it's hard to even get the whole thing in one frame on camera. That's the end of our drive through the greater Knoxville downtown area. Hopefully, this gave you some perspective on what Knoxville, Tennessee is like. <laughs>